Hello everybody. In this video we will cover how the web works in relation to web development. By the end of this video you will understand how the three main file types of web development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, interact to form a web page, as well as how web pages are sent from the internet to your computer. Before we can start talking about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, we need to focus on how websites on the internet work. The first main component of all websites are its files. These files include HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, and videos, and determine how the website will look and function. The second component is the server. The server is a computer that is hooked up to the internet and stores all the files needed to run a website. These servers are nothing more than computers set up specifically to send the files of a web page to the web browser. Speaking of a web browser, the final component of the internet is a web browser. The web browser is a program that runs on your computer or phone that knows how to properly render the web page files being sent by the server. The web browser is commonly referred to as the client. Now that you understand the very basic of how web pages work on the internet, let's dive into the three main file types of a web page. The first file type is HTML, also known as Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is the foundation of every website and is used to define the content of a website. HTML will include the text, titles, links, and images that compose a website. If the website was a house, HTML would be the foundation, walls, and windows. The second file type is CSS, also known as Cascading Style Sheets. Technically, a website can be made with only HTML files, but it will look terrible. That is where CSS comes in. CSS defines the aesthetic look of a web page and is the equivalent of paint color and window curtains on a house. The last file type of website is JavaScript. Many great sites have been made with only CSS and HTML, but as soon as you want to add any functionality to a web page, such as a pop-up or a complex form, you will need JavaScript. JavaScript is what controls all the functionality of a web page and is equivalent to the doorknob that allows a door to be opened and closed on a house. We now understand the purpose of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but how exactly does the server send these files to the web browser? This is done via HTTP, also known as Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP works similarly to a conversation with a friend. You may ask a friend what their favorite movie is, and they will respond by saying that Titanic is their favorite movie. Based on your friend's answer, you may ask additional questions, such as who is the main actor of that movie, and your friend will answer with Leonardo DiCaprio. In HTTP, the web browser asks the server for a specific HTML file, and the server will respond with that file. The browser will then parse the HTML file, and if it sees any additional information that it needs, such as images or CSS files, it will ask the server to send those additional files. Most sites that you visit will be using HTTPS, which stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, to communicate. This functions exactly the same as HTTP, but the information being sent between the server and the web browser are being encrypted. The last component of the internet is the conversion of domain names to IP addresses. This is a complicated topic, but you will only need to know the very basics to develop web pages. Every website has a domain name that the website is accessible at. This is just the URL of the website, such as google.com or speedtest.net. Servers, which store the web page files, do not know anything about domain names, but they do have a unique IP address. This means that to access google.com, the web browser will need to convert the domain name into the IP address of the server with Google's web page files. This process is called domain name resolution. It is not necessary to understand how domain name resolution works, but you do need to know that servers have an IP address that can be mapped to from a domain name. This concludes the basics of how the web works. You should now understand how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work together to render web pages and how web browsers and servers communicate. Let me know down in the comments which of the three languages, HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, you're most interested in learning. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all future lessons. Thanks for watching.